In today's video, I'm gonna show you the best ways of recording your screen on your Windows PC. Now, a lot of these work on a Mac too, but this video is dedicated to Windows 10 users on a PC. Now, the most common way that you'll see if you Google this is this option right here. If you press your Windows icon and look for Game Bar, this app comes with your computer. Let me go ahead and click on it to show you what it looks like. It's this pop-up right here, and I highly recommend Compared to the other options I'm gonna show you, the other options are gonna be far better and I'll kinda of explain as we go. So if you press start recording on this, first of all, it's gonna give you an error message because it says, this is not for recording your Windows desktop, it's designed to record games. You can get around this option though. For example, if I go down here and look up the Xbox app and open this app, this appears. Now, if I hold the Windows icon on my keyboard and press G, this thing comes back up again. And if I press this and tell it it's not a game, when the little pop-up comes up for that, it's actually gonna let me record this Windows and some other Windows too. But because of its limitations, I don't recommend you, you use this. For some reason, Google and a lot of people on YouTube will recommend this as the only option. But I'll show you four better options than this. So I'll stop this for now. And let's close this up here so we could go to the better options. My favorite option is, I'm gonna go to Chrome and show you this website. It's called OBS Studio. Now this works on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and is completely free and really powerful. It's for video capture, and it's for streaming too. You could stream from this, but I'm not gonna show you that. I'll just show you the video capture option. So download this app, and then go ahead and open it up. And when you first open it, this is what you'll see after you install and open it. All we need to do here is we just have to press this plus sign right here and then do a display capture. If I press this option right here and name this PC screen, for example, press OK, it's gonna make it visible like this. And if I go ahead and press OK, it's gonna put it up here. Now, I typically like to resize this because right now it's just bigger than my windows here. So I typically just grab this red corner here and then just grab it and resize to window. You can right click on it and resize it that way too. So now it's fitting my window and I could record it. Now before I do though, I do recommend you also change your audio. So for your microphone, this is the one built into my camera or my computer right now. But if I press this and go to properties, I could actually change my device, my microphone device to a external one. Sure MV7 is the one I usually recommend or if you're on a budget, the one that is called Snowball, I'll put a link to both of those below this video so you could go ahead and get those. Now that gives you far better sound quality. Right now I'm using Shure MV7. That's the sound quality you hear from this video. And then when you're ready, when you did all that, you could actually go to settings here, the settings tab, so you could decide where the video is gonna go. So if you go to output, you could decide the recording path. I chose my desktop in this case. And you could change your recording quality. So you have some options here that a lot of other apps don't give you, right? So this one's really good recording format. I also changed to MP4. So these are my settings that you see over here. I'll apply them and I'll go ahead and press record. That's over here, start recording. And the first thing I do after I do that, I minimize this window because I don't want that to get recorded. And now whatever I do, like opening this, looking around a browser, pretty much everything that there is on my screen is gonna get captured. Now to stop it, it's over here, this OBS icon on the bottom. I'll open it up and let's go ahead and stop it. Now I trim out the beginning and the end. So if I open up that window, this is what got recorded. So the OBS window before I minimized it got recorded and everything else I did will get recorded. So I edit those out in the editing process. The next one I'm gonna show you is called Vimeo at Vimeo.com and I'll link this below as well. But with Vimeo, super simple. You go up here to new video and do a screen recording from here. And what this does, it, it adds this little Chrome extension. And if you don't see it over here, just press this puzzle icon and make sure the Chrome extension is pinned, this little pin icon, then it'll show up. You don't have to use Chrome for this, but it's not just capturing Chrome. It will capture anything on your computer. Microsoft PowerPoint or your desktop, whatever you do will get captured. So this is how this works. You press this icon, this little window pops up where you could capture a screen, your camera, and a combination of the two. So that's your webcam 
right on top of your camera. That's useful. I have mine off right now. And again, change your default microphone to a better one if you have a better external microphone. Your computer audio just doesn't sound that good. So for professional quality sound, buy a microphone and then press start record. Just like this, you could decide your entire screen, windows, or your Chrome tab. So I'm gonna record everything that I'm gonna show. So I'm gonna share that. And after the countdown, if I minimize this, if I open up other stuff, if I open up this video, all of that is getting captured on my screen. Even the things that I will do inside of the settings of Windows. When I'm done, I press stop sharing right here. And now if I go back to Chrome, it shows up like this. So I could join Vimeo in order to download it or share this link. Now Vimeo is free. I have an account. You don't have to pay for any other upgrades. No credit card required. And the other option is called Loom. Now, same thing with Loom. I created a free account here with Loom. And again, you get the browser extension up here. So you click that. It works almost identical to the other one. But with this, you have screen and camera as well. It has a little bit of a different graphic for your camera. You'll appear over here. When you're ready, change your microphone setting here and then just start recording just like that. So same thing, entire window, so entire screen, your countdown, and just like that, you're recording your screen. And this actually organizes everything nicely for you. When you're done, press the check mark down here and it's gonna open up a window for you where you could copy the video link to share or press the three dots and download it. This should appear in a second. It's grayed out for now. Oh, there we go. Now we could download this and edit it with a editing software. And I'll show you this option. This one is not free, even though it has a free trial with a watermark, but it's so powerful that if you're doing this for any professional reasons, almost everybody uses Camtasia compared to the other free options that I show you. That's why I saved this for last, but I'll show you why it's so powerful. You could also watch it from the video here. I'll put a link to this one in the description as well. And this is something you have to install on your computer. This one is now browser based. Now with this, let me just go ahead and press new recording just to show you, but I will make a separate complete tutorial. This is available for Mac as well. And there's a learning tab too. You could actually learn more about it. Let me press new recording and you get this window here and you could decide again if you want to record a screen, the FaceTime camera, or if you have other cameras plugged in, your microphone could be changed over here. So you could see as usual, I go to MV7. I'm using it right now, so I'm not gonna change it here. System audio, you could actually capture. That's your desktop audio. So if you're playing back a video, for example, or a game, that's very useful. A lot of the free tools don't have that. And then you could press start record. And when you record, you'll get the countdown as usual and everything on your screen will be recorded. You could mute yourself at any time and then go ahead and press the pause sign. This window here is actually not getting recorded. Everything behind it. Let me press the stop sign to show you why it's so powerful compared to what I've shown you so far. Now with Camtasia, what's great is besides this capture window that I used to press record, your audio will show up over here and your video as well. And what you could do is you could edit it. So you could trim the beginning, the end, move clips around, and you have a ton of behaviors like you could add transitions, animation, annotations, text, even your cursor effect could appear after the recording. Now I'm gonna buy a copy here so I can make a dedicated tutorial to it, but I wanted to show you this as the last option because it's expensive, but it is far beyond the other free options and everything you could do with it. It's not just a recording window of selecting your screen and your microphone and your camera. It's a full blown video editor with ton of effects that regular video editors don't even have. So I hope you found one of these options useful for your needs of recording your screen on Windows. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time.